Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome to my series, Best in Beauty, where I take you to the most popular places for your beauty needs. Now I'm super excited for today's episode because I'm going to one of the best nail salons in Singapore to get my nails done. It's been a very long time since I got my nails done professionally. I think the last time was when I filmed it for you guys, when I went to Korea. So it's been like almost a year. So today I booked in for a nail appointment at Nail Atelier. They're known for their really cool nail art. Everything's like hand painted. They do really intricate designs. Pretty much they make all your nail dreams come true. And I booked in with Ying, who is the art director there. And she's also a nail educator. So she is like the queen of nails. I actually haven't decided on a design yet. I thought like I would kind of leave it up to her or maybe kind of go through and discuss what's best for my nails. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it because I definitely need something on these claws. So let's go. This is what the nail atelier salon looks like. It's a very cozy salon located at the start of Haji Lane in Singapore. Normally they have more tables, but because of COVID-19, there's extra safety measures in place like social distancing, as well as each customer gets their own set of nail files. Plus they've added in an acrylic screen or shield on each table to separate the nail artists from the customers. Around their salon, there's lots of nail art on display. So in case you need some nail inspo or you don't know what to do, they have lots of examples around. There's also a dedicated area for their polish colors, Japanese pot gels, and my favorite section, the nail decorations. After seeing all this, I was pretty excited to get my nails done. Here's a quick before shot of my nails. As you can see, they're pretty short, so I definitely want to get some extensions. But as for the design, I'm going to leave it up to Ying, who is the owner and art director of the salon. First, she starts off with nail prep. So she pushes back my cuticles with a metal pusher. Then she uses an electric file and two different small drill bits to help separate any remaining cuticle from my nail bed. FYI, this doesn't hurt at all. Afterwards, she used a cuticle nipper to remove and clean up my cuticles. She then moved on to shaping and buffing. Ying was very meticulous when it came to all this prep work. I felt like she spent a lot of time and care with my nails. This is probably why her client's nails can last weeks and weeks without lifting or chipping. Once all the prep is done, Ying is going to start on sculpting gel extensions. For this, she needs to apply a dehydrator to remove any oil off the natural nail. Then she can apply the gel base coat, which needs to be cured under UV LED lamp. Now 
now she's ready to apply the nail forms. As I mentioned before, Ying is going to sculpt my extensions so she won't be using any stick-on tips. Instead, she's going to use this form paper and some extension gel which she places on top of the form to shape and create a new longer free edge. If you watch my other nail videos where I got sculpted acrylic extensions, they use the same forms, but you'll notice that with gel extensions, the application technique is a little bit different. The gel is sort of floated on top of the nail with very minimal contact to the brush. It's pretty much just guiding the gel along. This is because the gel can self-level, so you don't need to touch the product too much. Once Ying is done applying the gel, it's flash cured under the light for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then Ying uses the sides of her nails, her thumbs, to help pinch and create a C curve on my nail. After that, the nail goes back in the light for a full 60 second cure. Next up comes filing and shaping. I asked for an oval slash pointed shape just like Ying's nails. And can we just take a moment here to just admire her nail art? Like, oh my god, her nails look incredible. The design looks so intricate. So now my gel extensions are done, this is what they look like. We can now move on to my favourite part, nail art. So with the design, Ying's going to create a Sailor Moon inspired set that she's prepared for me. She starts off with my left thumb where she uses white gel polish to outline and create a circle. This will actually become a moon. She then mixes the white gel with some clear gel to fill in the circle and she creates some swirls to give the moon some texture. Next, she sticks on this silhouette of Sailor Moon, which she actually hand painted the day before, and she painted it on a special Japanese nail sheet. This is a great way to cut down the service time when you're doing nail art on clients, so I definitely appreciate that. She then applied some clear gel over on top of the film to help secure the art onto the nail. and then applied some glitter around the silhouette. And encapsulates everything with another layer of clear gel. Once that's cured, she refines the shape of my nail and finishes it off with top coat. So that's one nail done, we have nine more to go. On my other thumb, Ying does similar steps, but this time she applies a hand-painted anime image of Sailor Moon's daughter, Rini. Like this video if you know who she is. Look at how intricate this is. Can you believe Ying actually painted this? I hope one day I can be as good as her. Once that's stuck on my nail, she trims off any excess, apply some glitter, and 
and encapsulates the design with some clear gel. For some of my other nails, Ying paints on a milky white coloured base. Then afterwards she uses two different colours to create a gradient. I love that for each nail she did different colours to change it up. Here she's mixing some clear gel with cat eye powder which is going to go on top of the gradient she created earlier. This powder can actually be controlled with a magnet and you can move the cat eye pigments around to control the shine or get a desired pattern you want. On top of the cat eye, she places some iridescent flakes to create more dimension on each nail. And then now it's time to bling things up with some nail jewelry. To secure each jewel, Ying uses a special thicker gel made for nail decorations. A small blob of this was applied onto the nail and then the nail jewel goes on top and is cured. For each nail, it was blinged up slightly differently, so no two nails were the same. As for my ring fingers, Ying created a different design inspired by the current nail trend in Korea. She placed a gold chain to create a border around my nail. Then she filled the center with little crystals. Now she used two different sizes, a slightly bigger size for the center area and some small caviar crystals for the edges. This was cured under the light and sealed with top coat. Once everything was done and cured, Ying perfected the shape of my nails and applied some cuticle oils to nourish my skin. So I'm back from my nail appointment. Check out my new nails. I'm super happy with them. Ying did an amazing job with the nail art as well as the gel extensions. This is actually my first time getting a gel extensions done. Usually my nails are already long and so I don't really get extensions unless I'm going for like a super lengthy nail. But because I've had short nails for a while, I decided to get gel extensions. All up, it took three hours to do, which I feel is actually pretty fast considering she extended my nails and did nail art. I guess because Ying did prepare the anime nail art the night before, so she had already like hand painted that on 
the um, plain sheet that you can actually adhere onto your nail. So I didn't even know that was a thing, but that's pretty cool. Also, I love how she did the cat eye design over the um, gradient that she did. And of course, I love the little nail charms, especially the little dangly ones. They're very extra. In the car, I was just like doing this and I was like, who are you waving to? And I'm like, I just want my charms to just dangle and make little noises. So I was looking like a crazy woman in the car, but I absolutely love my nails. Also the design on my ring finger. This is um, like really trending in Korea at the moment where they, they put like a chain and then put some like pixie beads in the middle. The charms actually feel very, very secure. I feel like these are not going anywhere. And even though I have all this on my nails, it doesn't feel like super thick. Do you know what I mean? It's not like super chunky. So I really like how she did my nails. I love the shape of them. I love the length because I miss having long nails. Now let's get to the price because I know a lot of you guys always ask, you know, how much did this cost? So I have a breakdown for you guys. So for the nail art, this custom set costs $120. And this includes like the cat eye, the ombre base, the um, little, Aura, iridescent flakes, the charms, the Swarovski crystal pixies, like the little ones, and the hand-drawn art. But because I got extensions as well, that actually was $140 on top. So all up, this set costs $260, but if you already have long nails, you don't have to get extensions, or if you want to do it on like shorter or your natural length, you can do that too. It's definitely more on the pricey end um, because you know it did take three hours to do. You do need like a pretty good skill to do this sort of stuff. So it's not like your regular gel manicure that you can get for like $40, $50. This is definitely a bougie set, I have to admit. Now, if you guys are interested in checking out Ying's Instagram or the nail atelier, I'll leave everything for you guys below. Also, she does have a shop that sells nail supplies called The Nail Wonderland. She has a physical store in Singapore and she sells online and ships worldwide as well. So if you guys are interested in any of the products she use, a lot of it is from Japan. So it's kind of difficult to find like all in one place. So I do love that she has an online store selling a bunch of good quality stuff. So I'll leave that link for you guys as well below if you're into nails like me. But yeah, that is it to this episode of Best in Beauty. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. You know what? I love filming this series because I get to have like all these like bougie stuff done. I'm living the dream, guys. I'm living the dream. Now, if you guys are new here, don't forget to click subscribe and remember to turn on notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Can you hear it? I remember when we were staring a photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart In my heart is where you are I still think of you, I want you coming